let the redeem of the Lord say so. Satan, I rebuke you. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. And I overcome you by the blood. Can you say it? Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Satan, I overthrow you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of depression, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of suicide, I overcome you with the blood of Jesus. Spirit of discouragement, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of witchcraft, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of voodoo, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Psychic powers fighting against me, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity, spirit of sickness and weakness, spirit of sickness and weakness. Somehow, some way, you, they have attacked you on your health and you are already feeling sick. You are feeling sickly and they are trying to diagnose you with all sort of sicknesses. Somehow, they are attacking your emotions. Somehow, they are stuck in your mind. Spirit of infirmity, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of sickness, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of disease, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of weakness, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of depression, spirit of depression. Why are you sadly depressed? Why are you sadly depressed? Spirit of depression, in the name of Jesus, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of fear, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of tomorrow? Why are you afraid of the future? Why are you afraid of your about your marriage? Why are why this sudden fear that you are not going to make it? Why this sudden fear that you are going to die? Why this sudden fear that you are going to lose your marriage? Why this sudden fear that has gripped you to the point that you don't even know why you are afraid? Why are thou afraid? You spirit of fear, in the name of Jesus, I overcome you. I overcome you. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. You spirit of witchcraft that is bewitching my mind. You spirit of witchcraft that is releasing spells against my marriage. You spirit of witchcraft that is attacking my health. You spirit of witchcraft that is attacking my finances. You spirit of witchcraft that is attacking me in my dream. I overcome you by the blood. I overcome you by the blood. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. You hindering spirit. You hindered me last year. This year to have seen you already trying to hinder my progress. Trying to to hinder my blessing. I overcome you. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. For the Bible says we overcame the devil. We overcame the demons. We overcame the witches. We overcame the enemy. Hey, by the blood. By the blood. Satan, I overcome you by the blood. Every problem I'm expressing right now, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every financial problem, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every divorce problem, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every marital problem, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every health problem, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every attack on my life, um, on my children, on my marriage, on my family. Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Satan, I overcome you. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Don't keep quiet. You shall declare it and it shall be established. If you sit down, they will, they will kill God's purpose for your life this year also. Speak out. Say, Satan, demons, witches, wizards, enemies, problems, I overcome you. I overcome you. I overcome you. By the blood of Jesus, I overcome you. I overcome you. Satan, I overcome you. You will not succeed. You will not succeed. You will not succeed in destroying my marriage. You will not succeed in giving me cancer. You will not succeed in killing me. You will not succeed in hindering me. You will not succeed in causing me to be afraid. You will not succeed in causing me to be discouraged and give up. Oh, Satan, I overcome you. I overcome you. I overcome you. I defeat you. I overcome you. I overthrow you. I overcome you. I vanquish you. I overcome you. I dethrone you by the power. By the power. By the power. By the power. Power in the blood of Jesus, I overcome my enemies, I overcome those witches, I overcome those wizards, I overcome my problems by the blood. Oh, I see mountains becoming a plane. As I was prophesying, mountains are becoming a plane. I see breakthroughs. I see breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Uh, suddenly there's a breakthrough. I see a mountain that was before you now become a plane. I see a chain starting breaking. Chains are breaking off you right now. Charms are breaking off you right now. As you were saying it, Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Can you just repeat it? Repeat it. Whatever problem you are going through, just say, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. As you are saying, angels are fighting for you spiritually. Because the Bible says that the same God who energized and strengthened 
Angel Michael to overcome Satan and his crew. That same God is fighting for you right now. Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Please open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and speak. This is not for lazy Christians. This is for people who will speak and the angels will fight for you. You will speak because there's power in the blood of Jesus. There's power to heal. There's power to deliver. There's power to afford you that miracle right now. Satan, I overcome you. I overcome you. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Witches, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Cancer, I overcome Overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Diabetes, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. High blood pressure, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every sickness in my body, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every spells and charms and hexes against my life, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every evil dream, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of divorce and separation and confusion in marriage, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of unemployment, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of delay, stagnation, singleness, barrenness, unemployment. Frustration, disappointment. Hey, I overcome you by the blood. I overcome you by the blood. Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Hey, Malabasun Telebashanda Kapalekala Rokotolobo Seketele Katayadada. Spirit of depression, I overcome you by the blood. Spirit of depression, I overcome you by the blood. Spirit of depression, I overcome you by the blood. Spirit of discouragement, I overcome you by the blood. Spirit of worry, I overcome you by the blood. In the name of Jesus, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Witchcraft spirit, I overcome you. Let the power in the blood, let the power in the blood, let the power of the Holy Ghost, let the power in the blood of Jesus deliver you from every witchcraft assault, from every demonic attack, from every spirit of death. Spirit of death, I overcome you. Anyone hearing the sound of my voice who has been appointed to die early this year, I overcome the spirit of death by the blood of Jesus. I overcome the spirit of death by the blood of Jesus. I overcome the spirit of premature death by the blood, by the blood, by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of accident. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood. Be loose. Be delivered. In Jesus name. Oh I see God setting the captives free. I see God opening the prison doors. I see God breaking you free and loose from the altar of sacrifice. I see God making mountains level before you. Receive pattern before you. I see God changing things spiritually which will manifest by the end of Friday. By Friday, you would have seen a miracle, a breakthrough, a miracle, a breakthrough, a miracle, a miracle by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a breakthrough by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a breakthrough by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a breakthrough by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a breakthrough by the blood, a miracle by the blood, the blood, the blood is giving you the victory you need for your early breakthrough, for your early deliverance, your early miracle by the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. One more word, one more word for you. It says that they swarmed around me like a beast. They were extinguished like a burning tongues. May your enemies, may your problems become extinguished. Become extinguished in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. As we were praying, the Lord was cutting down demons, cutting down witches, cutting down irons, cutting down chains, cutting down spells, cutting them down, destroying them in your life. You have no idea what the Lord has done for you right now as you are hearing the word of God and believing and receiving it. Somebody, I will tell you, by this prophetic, just so into it, so into it. It's not how much, but just say, Lord, I believe what you have said, that this issue is coming to an end right now. What they plan, it will not succeed. So into this message and it will never, you will never be the same. Then verse 13. The verse 13 is what God brought me here to speak to you about. He says in verse 13, I was pushed so hard. They pushed me so hard. They pushed me violently that I might fall. But the Lord held me. They push me. They, they push you. They are pushing you. They are pushing you. They are pushing you out of that marriage. They are pushing you out of your health. They are pushing you out of your job. They are pushing you out of your finances. They are pushing you out of your peace. They are pushing you out of your job. They are pushing you out of your miracle. They are pushing you so you can fall and be destroyed. They push me violently. That I may fall. Somebody want you fall. Somebody want you to fall early. But the Lord helped me. Tonight, God has sent me to tell you he is helping you. He is helping you. He knows the enemies who are so angry to see you make it and break through this year. And he says he has come to help you. 
the Lord says he's in to help you. Whatever you are going through, as you hear the sound of my voice, the Lord sends help to you. The Lord sends help to you. According to Isaiah, Psalm 50 verse 15, it says you shall call upon me in the days of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. He is in to help you. They are pushing you. They want you to fall. They are pushing you. They want you to die. They are pushing you violently. They are pushing you fiercely. They are pushing and attacking you. Wanting you to die. Other verses says that my enemies did their best to kill me. They did their best to kill me. They wish you dead. They wish your marriage dead. They wish your health dead. They wish your children dead. They are pushing you to kill you. But the Lord, the Lord Jesus, anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus, he rescued me. The Lord Jesus is rescuing you from this problem. I don't know what you are going through. He is rescuing you in within 24 hours. I prophesy your deliverance. I prophesy divine help to locate you. I prophesy your rescue. I prophesy your emancipation. I, re I, I prophesy that your redeemer, your deliverer, your redeemer, your deliverer, your rescuer, let God come and rescue you from this problem. Come and rescue you from your enemies. Come and rescue you from that accident. Come and rescue you from that danger, that trap, that snare that they have set for your destruction. Let the angel of the Lord rescue you within 24 hours in the name of Jesus. Within 24 hours, you are coming out of this problem. You are coming out of this depression. You are coming out of this attack. You are coming out in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. That says the Lord. They pushed me violently that I may fall, but the Lord rescued me. What they intended for evil, the Lord is going to turn it for good in Jesus' mighty name. I rest my case. This is a prophetic word. This is not my words. This is what God is saying to you. They have pushed you they were expecting you to fall early this year, but God says he has rescued you. They have pushed you early this week, but God says it will not happen. They have pushed you early today, but it's not going to happen. The Lord is going to redeem you. He's going to deliver you from their trap, from their snare. They, have, they might have set it at, against you at your workplace. They may have set it against you at the roadside so that you have the accent. They may have set it against you at your job so that you make that mistake and lose that job. They may have set it so that you do something so that they can what, attack you. But the Lord, whatever trap, whatever snare, whatever devices, whatever agenda, your enemies plotted against you. God says he has come to help you, to rescue you, to deliver you from the plans of your enemies. Thank God for deliverance from the powers of darkness. Father, I lift up prayers for everyone hearing the sound of my voice. Lord, any devil, any demon, any witch, any wizard, any agent, any power that is pushing them violently that they might fall and fail and be destroyed and perish. Lord, according to your word, you said you will rescue them. You said you will help them. You said you will deliver them. You said you will emancipate them, redeem them from the plans of their enemy. You are a rescuer. Lord, rescue them, deliver them, and, 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 and Father God, make a way within 24 hours where there seems to be no way. Miraculously, and let them receive their breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you. Amen and amen and amen. Go to our website. If you are led by this and if you are in that situation, so I see towards it. It doesn't matter. It's not the amount. It is just activating your feet. Go to freshfireprayer.com, www.freshfireprayer.com. Any seed, any seed. Say, Father, this is a word. I need it to be able to break through this season. And say, Father, help me use the scripture use when you see the, 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 the seed use this specific scripture psalms 118 verse 13 i don't know what it means to you right now they pushed me violently that i may fall but the lord rescued me this is a message for somebody this very minute minute this very day this very god has to do something for you psalms 118 verse 13 psalms 118 verse 13 when you saw the cc i tap into i tap into psalms 118 verse 13 i am tapping into this prophet word i am receiving it and i'm asking god provoking god to stand by his word and do it for me and god will do it for you www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com just click on the donation it is not the amount it is your feet just drop whatever god leaves on your heart to come bring out be out in the name of jesus christ if you are using cash app it's fresh fire prayer fresh fire prayer fresh fire prayer obey this instruction and not everybody there's somebody why the message today was changed it was for somebody. I didn't come in for this message. But God says there's somebody within 24 hours. I have to do something for them. And God is going to do it for you. Anyhow, in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace be unto you all. Amen. <laughs>
located in DC, Maryland, or Virginia and looking for a place to fellowship and find deliverance, then we invite you to join Fresh Fryer Prayer Ministry. Fresh Fryer Prayer Ministry is not only a church, but a house of deliverance where we keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning. Many have come to experience the power of God, setting them free from witchcraft, demonic activities, generational curses, and strongholds to break satanic limitations from their lives. Much of our focus deals with salvation, healing, deliverance, restoration of marriage, and breakthrough. The church is located at 10495 Theater Greens Boulevard in White Plains, Maryland. We meet every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and Tuesdays from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. You may also join us on our prayer line every Tuesday at 10 p.m. and Fridays at 11 p.m. by dialing 712-770-5600 and access code 950014-POUND. We look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday. For more information, visit our website at www.freshfireprayer.com. God bless you. Hi, this is Reverend K. And once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry. I'm here to recommend to you some deliverance materials which will help you. The Bible says, buy knowledge and sell it not. Buy knowledge and sell it not. You have to, re you have to discover in order to recover. If you don't discover the mystery behind your misery, you'll not be able to recover and possess or repossess your possession. So knowledge is very vital in this day and age because what you don't know is what the enemy or your enemies will use against you. And that's why the U.S. spend huge sums of money using it for intelligence because they have to know what their enemies are planning against the U.S. before they, in order to overturn it, cancel it, frustrate it before their enemies can come against them. So the Bible says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. So many people are looking for deliverance, seeking for deliverance, but they are very ignorant about the ways the devil operates and they keep on falling into the devil's trap and the devil keeps on getting them. The first book I recommend to you is called Spiritual Diagnosis. Mind you, you can get all these books on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www freshfireprayer.com you can get it on a paper book or you can get it on ebook in the ebook when you buy it it will be emailed to you as an attachment and you can open it and get it you go to the website www.freshfireprayer.com the first book is spiritual diagnosis spiritual diagnosis is the first book i wrote after the lord revealed to me the way the enemy operates against humanity the way witchcraft operate, curses operate, demons operate. In this book, you will understand how the enemy operate. You are going to learn about the portals which the enemies or demons can enter into your body. You, you will know how demons also operate. You also know how to keep your deliverance, how to keep, um, stay delivered. What can keep you from receiving deliverance? You will know the different ways the enemy can attack you either through witchcraft either through curses either through spirit husband either through your name either through against your marriage this are this book was exposed to you anybody who want to know about deliverance and about the ways the demons and the witches operate how witches can hunt down your star how witches can um you turn you into scapegoat in order to destroy you this book will give you all the vital 
information you need for your deliverance and it will help you. Body afflictions. How many people are going through attacks on their body? Demonic visitation. Demons in, in, uh, visiting you. Witchcraft, skate goods. Evil soul ties. I explain to you how all these things oppress Asmodeus and Osmodeus. These are demons that break marriages and keep people single. Satanic spiders and spider web. Every time you experience a spider web in your life. Satanic monitors. Demons and witches monitoring you. Evil authors and covenants that are affecting your body, are affecting your life. You learn all star hunters, demons and witches that are after your star and your glory. And how they can pursue after your star to destroy you. How to use the anointing oil, how to anoint your house. These are all, uh, and how to do self-deliverance. This book, Spiritual Diagnosis, Spiritual Diagnosis. The other one is called Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers. This book gives you 30 dreams that shows you that your blessings and your prosperity is under demonic and witchcraft attacks. 35 prayer to cancel demonic dreams and uh, against your life. Are you, have you been having evil dreams? Have you been having bad dreams? Do you understand the dreams? Do you know how to pray to reverse it, to destroy it? How to overcome the four major causes of the poverty? You will discover what causes poverty and the 11 witchcraft activities. 11 witchcraft activities to destroy your blessings and your destiny. You also learn about the 16 demons that attack our finances. Prayers to overcome demonic operation against your blessings. Uh, prayers to, uh, against witchcraft activities. And nice spiritual element for your, your blessings. Deliverance from blessing destroyers. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration anybody going through marital problem anybody wanting to get married anybody wanting to know how to pray against witchcraft against marine demons against strange women against household wickedness against spouse, uh, spouse charms against your marriage and how to pray to preserve your marriage get this book deliverance from blessing destroy uh emergency prayers for uh, marriage restoration any marriage under attack this is your book Consuming Fire for Fire, this is the book that you need in order to teach you how to pray against the spirit husband, spirit wife, python spirit, leviathan spirit, witchcraft spirit, demonic spirit, strange woman, come against singleness, spirit of delay, spirit of uh, satanic embargoes, anything, anybody who is going through witchcraft, this is the book. And if you want to know how to pray against a witch, get this book and it will teach you how to pray against witchcraft and get your deliverance. Emergency prayers for my restoration. Emergency prayers. Urgent prayers. This urgent prayers against the strong man. This book will teach you how to pray against back to sender. Anybody who releases evil arrow against you, how to send it back to the sender. This um, book will also teach you how to pray to open every satanic padlock that has padlocked your destiny and your star. This book will teach you how to pray against the spirit of death, sicknesses, and diseases, especially cancer. And this book will also teach you how to pray for favor in uh, for your life. And if you are dealing with any strong man, the spirit of Pharaoh that is holding you in bondage and captivity, this is the book you need. Emergency prayer for uh, uh, urgent prayer against the strong man. Get this book and it will bless you. Touch not my anointed. If you don't want witches and wizards to mess you up, there's the book to get. And once you, you begin to use it, you will get, begin to get your deliverance from all the powers of darkness. Get, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. Get these materials. Start reading them. Start praying these prayers in the midnight hour or every time you have and start praying them. Use this prayers and pray it and it will change your life and it will help you to fight against the powers of darkness and your life and your destiny will never be the same. Go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com If you order the uh, ebook, you will get it within 24 hours uh, and we will email it to you as an attachment. If you order the paperback, you will give us uh, four to five days and it will be emailed to you, uh, it will be sent to you and it will help you out to get your deliverance. God richly bless you. Bye.